This class won our football team from Bristol's in a two year playoff drought, trying to snap the curse and get back on track for a next stop. In our 21 teams and 21 days tour, we take a look at the Liberty County Bulldogs. Coming off of consecutive four and six seasons, Liberty County is looking for that spark to get them over the hump for a majority in the win column. However, entering their third season with Coach Gerald Tranquil in command, this might be his youngest group yet. They got a lot of heart. Um, they really spent a lot of offseason trying to learn our offense. Um, so when we get here in the spring, they're not behind. Um, but they want it. They want it. They got a lot of heart. They go hard. And they're just sponges right now. They're just soaking it up. As a rural program, Liberty County has always had players competing on both sides of the ball. But this season, more than ever, they're relying on underclassmen to provide quality depth. Very important because we have just at any chance we could lose any of our seniors. So we need at least some of the freshmen to come up and if they if we need them. With the abundance of youth, there's also a noticeable lack of size for Liberty County this season and the playbook will be adjusted accordingly. We switch things up a little bit of offense that's going to help fit us being a little smaller. Um, so I hope that helps those guys out, getting the ball out quick, getting the ball out on perimeter. Um, so we, last year, you know, we tried to run right at people because we we're a little bigger. Um, so now we're going to try to get on the edges and help those guys, those smaller guys, be able to block and, and get in space. The Dogs returned star athlete Joe Brinson, who led the team in rushing, receiving, and touchdowns last fall. They'll have a new quarterback, Connor Clay, who's less of a dual threat, but can easily catch defensive backs napping. We're going to be fast and we're going to be quick. And if we let throw in the ball, we throwing it because I know my boy Connor, he got a good arm. We're going to throw it. We're going to run it. We're going to move quick. It'll give us a different dynamic that we hadn't had in a while. He's got a little better um, arm than Ryland. Still has good legs, but we're going to be able to open the offense up a little more behind his arm and um, hopefully keep some people honest. Last year, everybody just loaded the box on us, and um, it was harder for us to run. But this year, they got to respect his arm because he can make every single throw. Over the past two years, Liberty County has been at or above 500 at the midpoint of the regular season, yet unable to finish strong. This fall, Coach Tranquil has flip-flopped their schedule, putting their toughest opponents early on. A strong team, having strong teams at the start, I think is going to show us what we're made of early, and uh, I think it's, it's a great opportunity for us and for everybody else to see just how good we are right off the bat, and uh, I like it. As part of that brutal front-end schedule, the Bulldogs will have a big one right out of the gate. They'll be heading across the river. That's the Apalachicola River. We call that wow. the Apalachicola River rivalry. They're <laughs> going to face Bluntstown on August 23rd.